Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I do want to give a quick shout out to everybody that turned into my, that tuned into my live um, tonight. It was a huge disaster. I'm not even gonna lie. I had so many technical difficulties. I couldn't even get the the live feed to even go up for an hour after the time that it was scheduled, and it was just absolutely awful. So, to all the girls that did show up and that did support me and. I just want to give you guys a quick shout out and say thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if it wasn't for you, I probably would have just, I don't know, ended the video like ASAP because that is not how I wanted that to go. And it just, it really makes me feel bad that I couldn't get anything to work for you guys. Nothing was, nothing went the way it was supposed to. And I just, I'm, I'm really sorry for that. Um, secondly, this is a anti-haul slash will I buy video. Um, the anti-hauls were created for, from Kimberly Clark. I will have her link down below. Um, I absolutely love her anti-hauls. She also talks about, uh, consumerism. Um, right now she is on leave from YouTube. She is doing a um, a tour as a backup singer so congrats to her for that um, this is also including a will I buy it and now will I buy it I got from Samantha March I will have her link down below as well she does a will I buy it series and she puts posts those videos every Wednesday now most of the pictures or information I get is from trend mood one and I will have her Instagram link down below as well um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it the first item it's definitely going to be on the anti-haul side. Um, it is the entire Kylie collection that she just came out with. It is the weather collection. I know that this is just dedicated to her daughter, which I think is extremely sweet. Um, I do enjoy the theme. I really, really enjoy the weather collection theme. I think that is fantastic. Um, I love something that is not unicorns. <laughs> so I think she is definitely on the right track with going a different route. Um, now there's a couple reasons I won't be purchasing these. I do feel like some of her items are always overpriced. Um, you're definitely going to be paying for the name. Um, so that is one of the main reasons I won't be buying this. I have had bad customer service in the past. Um, and I'm just not ready to go down that road again. Um, so I'm still looking from that one item from her brand that will probably make me purchase um, from her again but as of right now this is definitely not going to do it I like I said I do enjoy the theme I enjoy the packaging but when you open up the eyeshadow palettes nothing really calls out to me I really don't like the shadow selection that she did inside the palette says that's, that's not something that I don't know was drawing me in so but in the collection just in case you do not know you get lipsticks for $18 each there are three different ones uh, Nightfall, Cosmic, and Nova. You get, there's two duo glitter eyeshadows um, that are supposed to be $40 each. You got the eyeshadow palettes. There's two of them for $40 a piece. You got the highlighter palette for $44. Um, there is a loose highlighting powder for $14. There is a gloss for $16. Um, you have a gel eyeliner for $14, or you can get the entire bundle for $280. <laughs> So, um, you know, <clears throat> definitely not something I'm going to be gravitating towards. But, you know, if you are interested or if you have bought anything from this collection, just leave a comment down below and let me know how it worked out for you. I would really like to know. Um, moving on, we have the new ColourPop Superstar Loose Pigment Shadows. Now, I love ColourPop. Don't get me wrong. I actually have ColourPop on tonight. I have my... Um, Dream State palette. This is what I use to create my eye look. Um, I used the matte satin lipstick and the lip gloss for my lips. So I love ColourPop. The thing I don't like about ColourPop is that they just they bring so many things out at once. It kind of loses its you know dazzle about it. So boom, they sell you one palette. Boom, two weeks later we got another. Oh, two weeks later we got this. One week later we got that. And there's just so much coming out. You have no time to enjoy the things that you just got from ColourPop. That is one thing that I do not like. Give me a minute to enjoy what I got. Just, just give me a minute. 
I'm not saying that you can't come out with something new, but pump the brakes just a little bit. There's You're throwing too much out at once. And that's just a personal pet peeve of mine. You do not have to agree with me whatsoever, but that is how I feel. So um, these loose pigment shadows, uh, they're coming out with 12 new shades for $5 each. I won't be picking up any of these. The shades look beautiful, but I am kind of a clumsy person, so it is really hard for me to keep my powders, uh, my loose translucent powders from kind of like spilling everywhere. So I definitely would not be good with a loose pigment shadow. So that is why I'm passing over these. Um, if you guys are interested or you have bought any of these, leave a comment down below. There is definitely some colors that I would grab if I could handle a loose pigment, but that's just not going to be good for me. It'll end up just all over the place. So I'm going to be passing on that. All right, so the Balm is coming out with brow pencils. They're going to be $13 each. I really, really enjoy this packaging. I I think the packaging is so cute. It has kind of like this, I don't know, um, comic book strip feel to it. Um, the only problem is, is they are coming out with only three colors. It is going to be blonde, light brown, and dark brown. Um, I am kind of in the dark brown shade, so this is something that I'm definitely thinking about purchasing. I've never made a purchase from this company before. Um, if you guys have purchased anything from them, just leave me a comment down below. Let me know. I would love to know what you think about the Balm Cosmetics. Um, but I'm kind of excited about this. I'm always down to try new brow products. Um, I always end up resulting back to my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, which is what I have on today. Um, but I'm still on the lookout for some other good ones, you know. Maybe I don't want to use this every single day. I just, I like having options. <laughs> so that's something, that's something I might purchase. And at $13, it's not going to exactly break the bank. So um, I might give those a try. Uh, we have NARS Cosmetics is coming out with new blush palettes. They are going to be... Holy smokes, $59 each. <laughs> 59, okay, let's just say it. It's $60 because you add in tax, it's gonna be over that anyway. $60 for these eyeshadow palettes. Granted, you, you know, but you do get two, four, six shades. I don't think that makes up for the fact that it is $60. Um, good thing I have plenty of blushes anyway, so um, I am staying away from blush palettes at the moment. If you were with me during my live where I showed my, um, you know, my palette collection, you did see how many blushes I have, and there are quite a few. So that is going to be my main reason for staying away from these. The second main reason is going to be $59. That is a big no, no. Now, I mean, I know I have spent a lot of money for eyeshadow palettes, but I love eyeshadow palettes. They are my number one love. Um, I feel like I can create anything with those, so I definitely justify those a little bit differently. But for blushes, I can get these colors and any of the palettes that I have in my blush palettes. I don't need to go spend $60 for that. Um... Now, this is something I have a question for you guys. Uh, Natasha Denona has this little mini palette that um, is coming out. It is a mini palette for the uh, Sunset palette. I was thinking about purchasing this and putting it in my next giveaway. Um, for those of you that know, Natasha Denona is a very expensive brand. She has palettes anywhere from like I don't know, $129 to well over $200. The quality is amazing, but her prices hurt. <laughs> they hurt that piggy bank so bad. Now this one is going to be a mini eyeshadow palette, but it is definitely more affordable. So would you guys like me to include this in a giveaway so you can maybe try her shadows? Um, or would you just like me to focus on something else, something that maybe is not going to be as expensive if you do, if you do want to um, purchase more from that brand? So if you would, um, just let me know. 
Um, but this is just something I kind of have my eye on. I do have a giveaway coming up for you guys. Um, it is also going to be including the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. So uh, I don't really want to do two full size palettes. That's going to be my main focus and I just kind of want to fill in um, some nice little goodies for you guys to go with that. So this is something I was thinking about. And speaking of Natasha Denona, <laughs> she came out with her, what is it called? The Tropic Palette. Now I know my friend Maggie, oh my gosh, she wants this so bad. Um, I am back and forth on this. I am back and forth because if you cover up the bottom row, these are shadows that I have. If you look at the bottom row, I probably have those shadows, but this palette is so freaking pretty when it's put together. Um, but it is $129. I don't know if I'm ready to spend that much money again on her eyeshadow palettes. I do have the Sunset palette. I did get that on discount though. So that is my justification for that. Um, just, I don't know. I'm so up in the air about this palette. I want it. I don't want it. It's too expensive. Maybe I can get it on sale. <laughs> so for now, I probably will put this on my loves list, but I'm not going to be making that purchase anytime in the near future. So that's where we're going to leave that. Um, all right. Tarte has released a new eyeshadow palette. It is a, um, um, what is it? It is the Be A Mermaid and Make Waves eyeshadow palette. The packaging is absolutely stunning on this. They do have more to the collection that is coming out. Um, they are doing a lash curler, mascara, a brush set, gloss, um, and the packaging is gorgeous. And I had so many girls tell me, oh my God, the packaging, the packaging, the packaging. But I don't really want to spend $42 for a packaging. I really don't. I want to. Don't get me wrong. I really want it <laughs> for the packaging. But it is $42 and that is a lot of money for shadows that I already have. So unless I go inside store and I just fall in love with this palette, um, that might be the only thing that persuades me to buy this. But as of right now, I am trying to stand my ground and saying I do not need this. These are colors that I have. Um, you know, there's going to be more mermaid stuff coming along. I'm pretty sure of it because mermaids and unicorns have been around for a very long time now. Um, the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, it is not a new mascara. All they do for their collections is they repackage the mascara. They repackage it. And um, in this case, it's going to be a green sparkly packaging that they make it limited edition. Um, the brushes, I absolutely love Tarte brushes, um, but these are just not brushes that I'm looking for in my collection. I do have enough face brushes, so I will not be purchasing this. The eyelash curler is cute. It's got a little mermaid tail on the end of it, um, but I actually don't even use eyelash curlers, so I will be passing on this entire collection as long as I do not run into that palette in store and fall in love. All right, so I'm really excited for this next one. Um, last year, Marc Jacobs came out with a new bronzer called Tantastic. I was lucky enough to score one, and it was limited edition. I love this bronzer. It is not too warm, not too cool. It does not look orange. It is like the perfect bronzer, and it smells like coconuts. It is, smells so freaking good. Um, but the sad thing is, is it was limited edition. Well, I got news that is coming back, but is not just coming back as, you know, bringing it back for a limited time. He has decided to finally make it a permanent part of his collection. And I am so stoked about that. If it was limited edition, um, I was definitely going to make another purchase by a backup because I love that bronzer. Um, but it is permanent and I'm so excited about that. So I'm not going to buy it right away because I don't need it. But I do like the idea that it is permanent. So if I do need it, I can go purchase that. However, he is also releasing a new eyeshadow palette along with the bronzer. I love his eyeshadow palettes. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I love this eyeshadow palette and I am going to be purchasing this. This is on my loves list. This is definitely something I'm looking forward to. This is going to be released on... Uh, April 24th on the Sephora website as long, uh, 
along with the Marc Jacobs website. The eyeshadow palette is $49, so it is kind of pricey, but um, this is one of the brands I definitely do enjoy. I love the quality, so I definitely don't mind spending a little bit extra. Um, he's also coming out with coconut gel highlighter drops for $44, which I will not be purchasing. I'm not interested in that. Um, the setting powder for $44, um, I have been dying to try the Too Faced, um, what is it, Peach, Peaches and Cream Powder, anyways, um, that powder, I, I know you know what I'm talking about, um, so I would rather try that first before this, and of course, the Tantastic um, Omega Bronzer for $49, so I will be picking up I will be picking up the eyeshadow palette. I'll be holding off on the bronzer because I do not need it at this time. Uh, Benefit is coming out with a new blush palette. Now, I do not have any palettes from Benefit. Um, I have tried their bronzers before, but it just does not work for my skin tone. It definitely makes me look orange. So anything that comes with their bronzers is kind of like a waste of money for me. Um, I, I can't use it, so I would have to exclude that Im almost immediately. Um, but this one comes with five different shades. So they have come out with a new blush that is going to be included in this palette. It is called Gold Rush. Along with it, you get California um, Rock Tour. Is that the name of it? Yes, Dandelion, and of course the original Hula. Um, I'm actually quite excited for those blushes. I do have, I have wanted to try these blushes before. I'm really interested in Rockateur. It's kind of like a mauve color. Dandelion is kind of like a light flush of pink. I think that'd be really pretty for the springtime or summertime. Um, but like I said, I just, I can't use that bronzer, so that kind of does it for me on this palette. I really do think this is a good deal if you do not have any of these blushes and you can use this bronzer. Um, it is $58, but remind you, you do get, what, five full-size products in this. Um, it is retailed at a $145 value. So I do believe their blushes are, what, $29 a piece? Is that right? Yeah, $29 a piece. So um, you would be saving a significant amount of money if you were interested in this, and I really do think that is a good deal. Um, but I am not going to buy this. <laughs> I do have a lot of blushes, so this is not something I should be even eyeing or looking at, so I will be passing on this. Urban Decay has also released a eyeshadow blush palette. Um, which I am hesitant to purchase because like I have said, I think what, twice in this video now, I have a lot of blushes. So I really don't need to be purchasing blushes. Um, this palette is for $46. It is called the Back Talk Eye and Face Palette. Um, on one side, you do get four blushes and on the other side, you do get what, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You do get eight eyeshadows so I really do think that is a good price you get eyeshadows you get blushes and you get the whole package in this collection um, I think the packaging is kind of cool too it comes with a mirror that is detachable in the middle um, I really like the packaging on this um, and even on the description it says a go anywhere do anything eyeshadow and face palette inspired by back talk Urban Decay's best-selling cult favorite Vice Lipstick Shade. It says, like two palettes in one, and this travel-ready case holds eight nude mauve, soft berry, and muted rose eyeshadow shades on one side, and four con and four coordinating shades of blush and highlighter on the other. So I'm, excuse me, I was wrong. So you do get highlighter, blush, and eyeshadows in this palette for $46. I think that's a fantastic price. Um, I'm torn because I don't need the blushes, but it has highlights too, and it has eyeshadows, which I love eyeshadows. I love the packaging. I think it's a good deal. Um, <laughs> I'm probably going to have to go in store and swatch these and see how I feel about it. Um, but I'm just curious. Are you guys interested in this? Is this something that is calling your name? Is this something that you're going to be passing on? What do you think about this? Um, maybe you guys can help me make up my mind. <laughs> so leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think.
Okay, moving on to the next and last item. I did save this for last because this is a very controversial item right now. Um, and I wanna be very careful how I talk about this. All right, and this is surrounding Halo Beauty by Tati. It is not makeup, it is a supplement, a vitamin supplement. Um, this is something I will not be purchasing. I wanna just flat out say that. I will not purchase this. Not because it's not makeup. That is not the reason I will be not won't be purchasing this. I actually do like Tati, um, but I just don't feel comfortable purchasing these, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, a lot of people have asked for her studies, the clinical studies that she has, what, talked about a million times already, and there has been no proof of these studies. She has one case study of like a 23 year old on the website um, and it doesn't even show much information about that um, a lot of the ingredients when I was going through reading about what they were or what they're supposed to do and it just felt like you know just a random person putting down the information it did not feel like it was a I don't, I don't even know how to put it um, I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable because I do not feel that she presented this in a a good way. I just feel like she wants everybody to take her word for it that yes, these are okay. Yes, they're good for you. I'm working with a good team, blah, blah, blah. I know she said that a million times. She just did a, released a video kind of like, you know, responding to all the backlash. But a lot of people are just concerned because you will go through her feed and a lot of people are saying, we love you, Tati. We just want to see the clinical trials. We just want to see kind of like before and afters. And she said, well, I didn't purchase before and afters or I didn't do before and afters because I didn't want to hire models. And I'm just thinking, well, if you did clinical trials, wouldn't you have before and afters to see the progress? I mean, I'm sure you'll be, there's, I'm sure there's written progress um, where they wrote down all the information all their, about their studies and everything like that. But wouldn't you take photos during clinical trials? Why wouldn't you have a before and after? That That's just my personal opinion. Um, I don't know. She just, I just really, really feel like she's like, trust me, you know, these are good. I know what I'm doing. I'm working with the team. Well, that is great. I'm so glad that you feel that way. But you really need to provide your clientele, your, you know, your followers and everybody who loves you. You really need to provide the information that they're asking for. Show them the clinical trials. Show them the before and afters. I don't see the harm in showing these. It just... It doesn't feel right that you didn't come out and say, here are the studies, here is this, here is that. You know, this is something I, I love, I'm, I'm interested in, this is something I want to start with. I think a lot of peop more people would be more um, okay with the product if she had came out with it in that way. Um, however, it was more of a, oh, this is what I have, buy it today. And that just didn't work for a lot of people. And I know that she was probably hurt. I know she probably worked really, really hard on this. And, you know, I do, I do feel for her in that aspect, but I think she needs to broaden her horizons a little bit and understand what her consumers are asking her to do. They're not asking her for, you know, names of workers that she's worked with and names of these scientists. They just want the studies. They just want the studies. And I do not understand why you won't release them <sighs> and i'm not even i know i'm not even going to get out everything i want to say about this product um because my mind is just so jumbled when i start thinking about it um i do wish tati the best i i hope that this works out for her i know she wants to do more in the future and i do hope that she achieves that this is just something i would not purchase myself this is something that you know 
with all the negative controversy around it, it just, it makes me feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel uncomfortable that I can't go to her website and see the studies and see the before and afters. And that's just something that I would want to see as a consumer myself. This product is also 40 bucks a month. And that is really expensive for a month to month purchase. You have to purchase this every month. And a lot of people are justifying it. Well, you buy makeup and you spend a lot, a lot of money on makeup. Well, yeah. And that makeup is going to last me a long time. I do not have to repurchase this palette every single month. So there is the difference. <laughs> um, you know, there was a lot of concerns with some of the ingredients. They may, you know, alter, not alter birth control, but make it, make it ineffective. Um, I definitely want to say if you are considering this supplement, definitely talk to your doctor first. I think that is a very wise decision. You don't want to go into this and, and just take it. You need to know if there's any medications that you have that it could um, affect. You need to know if you have diabetes. You need to talk to your doctor. Make sure that this won't affect you in any certain way. What kind of birth control because that is a medication. You need to talk to your doctor if you want to take this. Um, but I'm just going to stay away from the whole thing. <laughs> this is just a no for me. Um, like I said, I do wish Tati the best. I know I kind of went off on a crazy rampage um, talking about this product. Like I said, I didn't even think I'd get everything out that I want to get out. Um, but I don't know. Like I said, this is kind of a hot topic. And I don't know if you follow Tati. I don't know if you watch Tati. But in her response video to this product, I do feel like it was hostile. I do not condone anybody, you know, attacking her family, looking up addresses. I do not condone any of that, but I do think that she is going about certain things in a manner that is not making the situation any better. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. So um, that is it for this anti-haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and I'll have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.